Hello, it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and I have been reading Liar Liar by M.J. Arledge. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. In the dead of night, three raging fires light up the city skies. It's more than a tragic coincidence. For D.I. Helen Grace, the flames announce the arrival of an evil she has never encountered before. Because this is no fire starter seeking sick thrills, but something more chilling. A series of carefully calculated acts of murder. But why were the victims chosen? What's driving the killer? And who will be next? A powder keg of fear, suspicion and dread has been laid. Now all it needs is a spark to set it off. So, MJ Arledge, I've read a couple of his books. And they were absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. They're up here. Eeny Meeny and Pop Goes the Weasel. Absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed them. I saw him at Slaughter in Southwold earlier in the year and it was really great listening to him and everything and I've got most of his books because they are just so gripping but this one I was just a little bit disappointed with and I think that's just my own twisted mind because the other two were gruesome absolutely horribly gruesome disgusting murders blood guts um, horrible, dark, twisted, disgusting images and I think that that's just how my mind works and that's the kind of thing, if it's a crime book, that's what gets me excited. However, not so much in this one. So like the blurb says, there is a series of fires being set, not only in homes but in businesses, but they're set at different points throughout the town at almost the same time. So when trying to work out who did it, it's very, very difficult because they were at such distances that a person couldn't travel from one to the other in such a short amount of time. And yes, people die. And yes, there are some horrible deaths because burning to death and being surrounded by fire and smoke is not pleasant. I'm not saying it's pleasant. Some of the images were very horrific of people trying to escape these fires. So there was some drama and gruesomeness almost but I almost oh I don't like saying it because it wasn't boring but in comparison to the other two that I've read it almost was a little bit boring it was almost like the same thing nearly every chapter another building got set on fire and people died or people were injured or I don't know it didn't have the momentum that the other two had and I'm not saying that this is a bad book because it did grip me it did keep me reading, but in comparison to the other ones, I just felt that this fell down ever so slightly. And I don't like saying things like that because I think MJ Arledge is a really good author, has a really great imagination, knows a lot about the world of crime and murder and murderers. I don't know. I don't know what he does in his spare time. But although I can't say it was great, it's only because the other two were so amazing and for me this one fell down a little bit but I would still read the rest of his books and I would encourage you to read his books because they are gripping they hold your attention they are, they cover a, a range of different types of murderers and crimes and all that kind of stuff so the series isn't boring but this one I just felt it was a little bit repetitive and didn't didn't give me <laughs> the gruesomeness that I was looking for so Personally, this is just a personal feeling of this, but I'm going to read the rest of his books because, like I say, it's a really, really good writer and I quite like D.I. Helen Grace. She's not your normal type of detective. She's got a little bit of a dark backstory, which I, which I quite like. So read it. Do read it. Read the other books in the series. But for me, this one just didn't, didn't hit the mark the same that the others did. So if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews then please subscribe. I put new videos out when I've got time and I've read books and done other bookish things so if you're interested in that then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.